In this video, we are going to be going over how to process your audio files for your podcast or YouTube video so that they sound crisp and clean. Hi, my name is Nick Chamberlain. Since 2014, I have edited and published over 7,000 podcast episodes, and I still edit many episodes every single week. And because of this, I have created a system that allows me to take any audio file and then run it through all the processing to make it sound as good as possible. And today, I wanna to show you that system. So let's get started. So the first thing I do is I open up Adobe Audition and I input the audio file. And here, we're going to be using a sample from Beyond the Byte podcast with Eddie Aldrete. This is a bi-weekly podcast that I work on. And he's always in different locations. So this system and process that I use works very well. First off, do not raise or lower the volume of your headphones. We're going to be doing a bunch of volume changing and if it sounds really low and you crank it up and then it gets really loud, it might hurt your ears. So if you're comfortable with the volume right now, just leave it be. All right, so let's hear the sample. I wanna go back to the comment you made. I could hear the guest in the file and overall the file's a little low. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my initial processing and let me hit run. All right, so what in the world did I just do? Let me show you. I'm gonna go to Edit Favorites, Initial Processing. So here's the little breakdown. The first thing I did is I always convert all the audio files to a sample rate of 44.1 kilohertz, always a mono because it's one person and a 16-bit depth, which is totally fine. And then after that, I always apply a low-end roll-off up to 75 hertz to get all those pops out and low end rumbles that we don't need. And then I normalize the file to negative one dB. And after that, I apply a little bit of compression here and up to, let's see, yep, a two to one ratio. Anything above negative 10 dB will come down a little bit. Great, so after I apply all that processing, I will then take the file into match loudness and I will set it to negative 18 LUFS with a, with a tolerance of 0.5 LU loudness units with a max true peak at negative one. So let me hit run. Great, so now it is at negative 18 LUFS. So let's take a quick listen. I want to go back to the comment you made regarding. Okay, now it's a little loud. You hear the background noise. Okay, so after the match loudness, what I will do sometimes is I'll do some noise reduction and some click remover. And in this file, I can go ahead and do some of that noise reduction. So let me find some noise. I want to go. Mm, you just got to find a little. Ooh, yeah, that was a. So what I do is I go to effects. I go to noise reduction, capture noise print, which is shift P. And then after that, deselect it because now I want to select the entire track and go to noise reduction, noise reduction process. And then here we have this. These settings are a great starting point. So if you're not really sure where to begin with this noise reduction plugin, just hit freeze and copy all the settings. I'm gonna hit apply and it does take a minute. And you can see that some of the noise went away. Any, um... Okay, great. And then after that, I will do a little bit of diagnostics, declicker, light reduction, scan, repair 101 problems, repair all. All righty. So you can't really see anything visibly, but when you're when you have a big long file, it'll take away a lot of lip smacks and K clacks and stuff like that. Now after we do that, I then take all the files and put them back into the batch processing. I then go and select second half processing and let me hit run on that. Alrighty, cool. Let's hear your sample now. I want to go back to the comment you made regarding maintaining the soul. All right, so I took all the, I did, I'll show you what I have on there, but I can still hear the guests a little bit. And when I go through edit, I will take all of that stuff out. But right now I'm just showing you how I process the files to get them ready for the editing process. So what in the world did I just do when I hit run? So let me go to favorites, edit favorites, second half processing after loudness match. 
So what I do there is I, let's look, I apply a loudness gate. So anything under negative 30 dB will go down to zero. It will be completely eliminated. And when you do your noise gate, make sure you adjust the attack and release so it sounds natural. After that, I do another dynamic processing. Again, light compression, two to one ratio. Na anything above negative 10 will come down a little bit. I can do a video on compression if you need me to. And then I normalize everything back to negative one. So let's look here. And what I like to do when I, after I process stuff, I like to check the loudness. So option, command A. Uh, we're at negative 19 LUFS, which, which I'm happy with. So I'm gonna go ahead and convert this file into a MP3 because we're gonna take this file and then we're gonna put it into Descript to add on the studio sound. I have a hotkey on how to do this, but in the video, I guess I won't show you how I do that because you won't be able to see it. So MP3, um, yes, all of that looks great. 128, perfect, browse, gotta make sure you save it into where you need it. So it's a sample and I always put process, processed and I always make sure I leave a raw file in case I need to go back and redo this process. You may be saying, Nick, why don't you just use all the plugins in the multi-track section? Well, that's another way to do it. But in this video, I'm not doing that way. I'm doing this way. Why? Because this is the way that I have discovered works for me and my process. There's a bunch of ways to process audio and this is the way I like to do it. So I do all the processing up front. I print it. So when I go back to the editing mode, I don't have to worry about processing anymore. All right. So let's go ahead and open up Descript. Alrighty, Descript. Here it is. So I created a new audio project. They're always changing Descript. So this is already a new updated version. And I'm just going to drag and drop that file in there. Sampled process. I just imported the correct audio file here and I did not do the transcription. And so to get to studio sound, you need to go to Underlord, click studio sound, and then I'm going to do negative three dB for the overall audio volume because for some reason at zero dB, it comes out too hot and distorted. And let's hear how it sounds with the studio sound at 100%. San Antonio, uh, in the last couple of weeks, we Okay, that is way too much. So I will go ahead and... So they just change everything here. They just changed it all. So let's turn that off and take a listen. States, and we've been told for the last couple of years by the state demographer... Okay, you can still hear the room noise, which is totally fine. But now what I like to do is I'm just going to set it to 50%. So let's hear 50%. Taming the soul of San Antonio... And it sounds like a robot because Descript has not fixed this issue. Hopefully they fix it soon. But I know after many, many tries that his voice sounds good at 50%. So don't put your audio file at 100% studio sound. Adjust it anywhere between 20 to 50%. And if it sounds really, really, really bad, sometimes up to 75, 80%. Just play around with it and you export it the way you want to export it. So I'm going to go to current scene and I'm going to export this sample and into the correct folder we go. Audio is exporting. This is a lot of fun. Oh, audio exported. Great. So let's go to open and it's right here. I'm going to drag and drop this back into Adobe Audition, open it, and then I will go to normalize and let's take a listen to this. I want to go back to the comment you made regarding maintaining the soul of San Antonio. Uh okay, great. Now, I also want to, I want to compare that to the sample. So here's the sample. I want to go back to the comment you made. Regarding all right, and now here's the sample with all the processing. I want to go back to the comment you made regarding maintaining the soul of San Antonio. Okay, and I am happy with that, and I will go ahead and save this and import it into the editing session. Hopefully this video has helped you out a little bit, whether you're doing a podcast or a YouTube video, you can do the same format and strategy for your audio to help you to clean it up and to make it sound great. 
If you want me to dive deeper in any of these segments, please let me know. Or if you're having any issues or troubleshooting, feel free to comment down below and I will help you out. Thank you so much for joining me today. Feel free to like and subscribe as I will be making more of these videos in the future. Take care.